There's a lady there. I want to speak with you. You, you is. He's wearing something like, you can stand there, it's fine. I want to pray for you. Thank you. I want to pray for you. Thank you. Where's your mom? So it. And who was staying in Alexander? I don't remember. You never went to Alexander? To stay. I'm saying you never went to Alexander. I went. Huh? I went. And my first question was, who's staying in Alexander? Because I'm seeing you there. But I want God to help you. Okay. Now you're me. Amen. Today, uh, Mama was speaking about being patient. Okay. And if you become patient, things will work out for you. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes. And I want to tell you, God has forgiven your past. There's a new life that God will give you today. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. And I want to pray that, you know, you must get a good job. Thank you, Jesus. Because you're suffering a lot. Thank you, Jesus. And so is your mom. You people, you're struggling. Yes. So, but don't go to Alexander anymore. And God will bless you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Tommy. Eh? Tommy. What's about to take you in? Eh? What's about to take you in? Hey. Oh, how much did you touch her in a man? I hate you. Good fine. Bring you here. Huh? She's troubling us. She's troubling you. Yes. Huh? I want to finish. You want to finish she just killed the last one. Huh? She killed the last one yesterday. Listen, My no. last one. My last one. You must leave this lady, huh? You demon! Hmm? So, you are trying to make this lady to, to, uh, to move from one man to another. From one yes. man to another. Yes. It's like a prostitute now. Yes. Huh? Yes. Come on! In Jesus' mighty name! You spirit of prostitution. Come out. In Jesus' name. She's free. Kill it all, no, no. Did you like extension to the field? Professor today. Barile o Malakai, Abakidula, Kababucha, Badila, so it. So after that, Bampucha, Bekilu, Kitiba Mang, Alexander. Alexander, Eko Plangar Keha, Likilegayaona. So Bang Honor Satalagasayamola. Professor Nagin Nate. And how did it affect you? The man of God spoke about you and your mother struggling and that you have to find a job. How did it affect you when you were not finding a job? A lot. I go to work with my husband and I go to work Even in our work in Morocco, how easy you know, work peace jobs only. And today, as they prayed for you, how are you feeling? I may be relieved. I feel like you know, I believe I'm not going to be able to from now on because we will be better job. The lady of, of, of spirit of prostitution, where is she? Let her come. Let her confirm. Because you cannot just go and say, 
there's a spirit of prostitution on you. Yes. Let's hear, sister, uh, I mean, and then I believe by you confirming and speaking out here. Are you married? No. Eh? Mm -mm. I believe someone here will be looking at you. Because I can tell you that this has been an attack. So many people are in prostitution, whatever, whatever. Satan knows their marriage material. So now he will attack them. They live a wrong life. Let's hear uh, your confirmation on that. Uh, when the prophecy of prostitute, oh. I was thinking it maybe is the things of masturbating. I don't know. Yeah. Because now it's a long. I was not meeting the man. No, I, I think he said you are moved from one man uh, to another. To another. Hey. Mm, but I think I was stands in one place. Are you doing masturbation? Yes. Uh, automatically it's prostitution. Uh, yes. It takes you there because it, it just gives you urge. You understand? Urge to do that. I'm very happy for you and I believe the past life is gone. You get a right husband. Are you ready? How old are you? 29. 29. I'm sure someone is watching you now here. What? Brother, come if you want to marry this lady. She said. <laughs> I mean, now you know God deliver her from what? The Bible says, after delivering you, a new creature. I want to pray for you. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. I'm saying, I want to pray for you. Thank you. Do you want prayer? Yes. Because even when I'm calling you, it's like your mind is somewhere. Oh, I didn't see. Huh? You couldn't Did me. you work night shift? I'm working night shift. Huh? Yes. I'm working night shift. I want to pray for you. I mean, at your age now, let's cancel this thing. Okay. Because sometimes it's straining you. Are you hearing me? That's true. It's this issue, I'm seeing you going to work at night. Yeah, I'm doing So I'm too. trying to tell you that this thing, let's pray so that God must give you a better position. Thank you. Because these people, even this money that they're giving is very small. It really is too small. You're just trying to live by managing. And I'm seeing in the night, and it's cold now. Can you hear how cold it is? Yeah, that's true. So let me pray for you that God must help you to get a better position. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. And you're healed. You. You're healed. Thanks, God. Oh, my name is Klaus Musetla. I'm staying around in Timbisa and Mashima section. So the well, prophecy uh, is very true. Yeah. No. Why are you saying it's true? Were you looking for promotion? Were you tired of working night shift? No, actually, I was sick, actually. That was, I was looking. Uh, that was um, I was worried about. Now, as long as the pastor said, I'm um, healed, and then I'm, I trust that I'm, I'm healed. And how are you feeling right now after the prophecy? I'm feeling good. I'm, I feel I'm, heal I'm, I'm healed. We need to pray for you, and God will lift you. I want God to give you a house. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. I want God to give you a house and move from where you're staying. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yeah, I understand. Because even where you're staying, it's like your, your heart, sometimes it's not happy. Yes. Huh? Yes. So I want to pray for you. You stay around here. There by my weekend. My, by my weekend? Yes. By the way, I'm seeing, it's like, what are you doing in Winnie? I used to stay in Winnie. Huh? I used to, uh, I used to stay in Winnie. You used to stay in Winnie? Yeah, but we moved out. You moved? Yes. Even where you're staying, you'll move. Yeah, man. Are you hearing me? 
Yes, sir. Even where you're staying now, you'll move. Because you're in Wini, it's like things are starting to be better. Yes. From there, you went somewhere. But I'm also seeing you getting a better house from that one. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. And God will do it. Amen. And believe more in business. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Because sometimes it's like there's a spirit of confusion. But from here, God will do it. In Jesus' mighty name. You're free. You're free. Yeah, my name is Ronald Muraka. Uh, I used to stay in Wini there, but I moved over to Clayville Extension 45. Then from Clayville Extension 45, I moved back to Maugen Extension. So the man of God uh, prophesies me that uh, he's seeing me here by Wini. Then uh, what I told him that I moved out already. So. Now I'm renting a house there by Mokene, where he said he seeing me move, moving out from the current house that I'm staying at. That I confirm is true. Everything he said is true. Yeah. And uh, how did it affect you uh, with all these things that he said? You know, uh, everybody... If you are a person, you see, sometimes you do worry about. Let's say everybody have got his own problem. So uh, even myself, I've been worrying why uh, it looks like uh, there's a delay in my life. But I believe God in everything, in every problem that I'm facing. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling good. Yeah, and uh, I love God. Yeah. We give glory to Jesus for your life. We believe that every word that the man of God has declared unto your life, you shall surely come back. You shall surely come back with the testimony in Jesus. I believe. I believe. Uh, I'm coming back with a good testimony. My brother, they say, where's your wife? I'm not married. Huh? Are you not close to a short lady like this? Yes, I am. Huh? Yes. I'm seeing short lady like this. Yeah. Dark hair in, complex, in complexion, not that dark, but she's skrull, like this. Um, huh? She's a bit light. Not, not that light, not like you. Oh. So I want to pray for you, so that, you know, the way you're praying, are you hearing me? Okay. The way you're praying, you need a red wife. Yeah, true. Are you hearing me? I get you. The way you're, where is the lady? No, she's not here. She's not here? Was she not here last week? No. Huh? No. no. Were you not with her last week? No. She didn't come to church? No. She doesn't come to church at all? Only because I come. So when was the last time she came to church? No, I can't even recall. You can't even remember? Yeah. I want to pray for you. You know, when you are, you are a prayerful person, you need someone that will be able to support you. Mm. A wife that will be able to understand. Yes. Are you hearing me? I get you. So I want to pray for you, and I believe God will do it for you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Okay. Because you've been living a life of disappointments. Yes. In the relationships. Come on, you demon! You're free. When you sleep, there are, there are spirits that are visiting you. And they're making you to... Bring her, bring her out. When you sleep. Are you hearing me? When you sleep, there's a demon that visits you. 
Huh? You are saying what? Oscar Tom. So this demon is the one that is making your life to be stagnant even today. Oscar Tom, I'm Huh? Oscar Tom. Keep talking. I'm coming. Leave this lady, huh? Hmm? Hmm? So, what are you doing here? Hmm? I'm trying to put her down. You are trying to do it? Put her down. You are trying to put her down? Yes. Hmm? Yes. How are you trying to put her down? I'm confusing all the family. They all left this church. You're free. Hey, my name is Vivian Mahuma from Tembisa, original from Bohom Limpopo. The prophecy that I got today is, is very, very true because uh, every time when I want to pray and everything is stagnation in my life, today I feel free because the man of God uh, tell me those prophecy and I thank God for this grace upon my life and upon my family. In all these things that the man of God has spoken unto you, how did they affect you? I, I was not even ready in the Bible and pray. That's where it affected my life. But today, how are you feeling as the man of God has spoken unto your life? I feel free and I think my family is free wherever they are. And I thank God for this grace upon our lives. We give glory to Jesus for your life. Thank you. Amen. I'm seeing the same spirit with that one. We need to pray for you. You people, you have done a very good thing, but Satan is not happy. Yes, that's huh? true. That's I'm true. seeing your wedding. Yes, we did the wedding. No, it's not long. Yes, huh? last month. Last month. Yes. No, April. Huh? Yes. April. And I'm April. seeing taking pictures on a, is it mount, a mountain? Yes. Huh? Yes. I'm seeing on a, on a mountain taking photos. Yes. And your enemies were also there. That's yeah, true. Man. If you check after the wedding, it's like now things are starting to be difficult. That's yes. true. Huh? Yes. So I want to pray for you and I want God to help you because I'm even seeing what you're wearing on your wedding day. God wants to bless you with businesses. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. You must also consider the issues of property. Amen. Huh? Amen. Are you aware of pro property issues? Yes. Huh? Yes. I'm seeing you. There's a plan that if God give, if God will give you money, I'm seeing you. Tr you'll try to build something. Yes. Amen. Huh? Amen. So from here, this spirit will leave you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Are you hearing me, my brother? Amen. Let me let me be straight with you. From here. The business will work. Yes. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because after the wedding, things went down. Yes. It's like that's things true. are starting to be very tough. Yeah, that's huh? true. Yes. Even when you try to put money, you don't know what is happening to it. That is true. So from here, God will lift you up. The business that are business connections that are coming. Come on, you demon. Come on. What are you doing here? She cannot have money. She cannot have money. Money, millions. Huh? Millions. Who are you? Millions. Huh? She can get millions. Never. She can get millions. Never. Who are you? She cannot have millions. Huh? No. Who are you? No. You demon. No millions. Never. Huh? No millions. Hmm? Millions. No. No millions. No. Who are you? You demon. No. Huh? <gasps> Huh? 
There's a brother there called Jonas. Some there. Jonas. Yes, thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Leave that stomach, you demon. This is like yeah. people they have attacked you too much on that day. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. Because you have done something that you know in your family. Talk too much. You know, it's something that is taboo. I can say that. Yeah, that's true. So now people were looking at you because there was never a wedding. Yeah. It's like you're you're making an example of yeah, everyone. Amen. Are oh, you hearing me? Yeah, Amen. Even though they were funny weddings, but yours was different. Hallelujah. So don't worry, money's coming. Amen. Come on, you demon. You're free. Money is coming. Let's hear about the wedding issue. The wedding issue of last month. I don't know about it. <laughs> we did a wedding on the 20, 20 and 21 20. April. We did a wedding. So in the wedding day, in the morning, I got attacked. You it's like attack. someone stabbed me with a knife, so I couldn't walk properly. But I prayed to God. I said, Father, you cannot make us to prepare and make me to go and fall and sleep at the hospital because someone okay. told me that I will go and sleep in the hospital that day. Uh, also, the wedding in the mountain. Yeah. You went to take pictures of the mountain? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, truly, this man is a prophet. Yes, that's uh, true. Truly, is a prophet. And uh, let's expect money coming now. God bless you. Amen.